Photoelectric effect. Electromagnetic waves. Heinrich Rudolf Hertz. 1857-1894 We all know what a photo and electricity are. Photo is derived from phos which means light. Electric is electrons in action. What effect do we get when we combine light and electrons? Imagine a foot-long copper wire. It is made of atoms and the atom is made of a core surrounded by wavy electrons. You can hold this wire without getting hurt because electrons are not moving. When heated, it emits electrons through a process called thermal emission. If the temperature is high enough, they lose one or more electrons. At this point, touching would hurt you from the freed electrons. When exposed to light, it emits kinetic electrons if the photon's energy is greater than copper's electron holding threshold. How can we visually see this electron discharge? We can do this with a very thin gold strip, a rod, and a metal sheet. If we negatively charge the metal sheet with rubbed plastic comb, both the rod and the gold strip will repel each other because they have the same negative charge. If we shine ultraviolet light onto the metal sheet, its energy will emit electrons. The gold strip will fall onto the rod due to the lack of negatively charged electrons. If we shine low electromagnetic radiation such as red light, it will not emit any electrons and the gold strip will not fall. The photoelectric effect proves that light is a particle-like quantized object that had momentum and energy pockets. This effect was first observed by Heinrich Hertz in 1887. Then Albert Einstein explained the phenomenon which was the reason he got the Nobel Prize in 1927. The photoelectric effect has important applications in fields such as converting sunlight into electricity, and in imaging technologies, such as digital cameras and x-ray machines.